when we learned about Data Moran um, on the market, um, we had already been about a decade into our sustainability journey where we had done a materiality assessment that was very you know, manual in nature, took a very long time to complete. And um, at the time that we got the results of that particular uh, materiality assessment, it was a snapshot in time, as most of them are, um, but it was skewed because of the timing of that first assessment. Um, and without going back and doing another six to eight months of work, there was no way for us to go back and see, is this real or is this just you know, reflecting what was happening at that moment in time? Um, and it was kind of frustrating for us. We didn't really have any way to do that other than searching the internet, and that's very time consuming. And I don't know that you get a whole lot out of that in the end of good data that you can use. So when Data Moran was available and we decided to make the leap and, and, and become a subscriber, um, we, were so, we were so excited about the ability to redo this materiality assessment at any time and it would be a significantly reduced amount of time to be able to do it. We could do a short version, we could do a full-blown version, and we could check our, uh, the movement of those material issues at any time. That was extremely um, appealing to us. You know, when we started with sustainability at AEP, um, it was foreign, it was a foreign concept. ESG came on the scene, an even more foreign concept, right? Trying to bring those things together help the organization to understand what this means and the impact to the company and how what's happening outside of the company impacts us. And having that data and that global view that Data Moran gives us was extremely helpful in bringing the organization along. So much so that now we, we've partnered with our chief risk officer on doing a double materiality assessment. Uh, and we're very excited about that.